I'm just gonna hope that the car with the forged plates is the one that hit Jake because then we can move forward from part of this tragedy and start helping Lucky. It won't bring the little guy back, but it sure make it a lot easier on everybody if Caroline had nothing to do with this. Wait, Jake saved Jocelyn. If Carly's the one that hit Jake, the guilt's gonna be so heavy. I can't imagine. Killing a child even by accident? How do you ever get past that? I'm just gonna go with the forged plate scenario for now. There he is. Hey. 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 I, I was worried about you. I was trying to call you, but you weren't, you weren't answering. Oh, yeah. No, uh, I, uh, I was out at uh, St. Timothy's. You know, it's nice this time of year, and the leaves are starting to come out, and everything's coming alive. And it's quiet. I'm gonna hear myself think. Coffee? I got all these calls. I got two missed calls from Leslie Lou. Three from Dante. Do you have any idea what he wants? Um, I think it's about the suspect list. It's Thanks. getting shorter. And closer to home. Look, uh, you'll hear about this soon, so you may as well hear it from us. Your cousin Caroline is on that list. Down to the last three cars, so there are there are others that are on the list. No. It's Carly. It's her. I mean, how many other people do you know who are capable of hitting a child and just driving away? No, no, she wouldn't do that if she were aware that she... No, it's an accident, Dad. Of course it's an accident. I mean, Carly's entire existence is a series of accidents. That way she's not responsible for anything she ever does. Now, don't jump to conclusions. Stick with what you know. Well, like, you don't know what she's like, seriously. Carly is so focused on herself and what she wants at any given moment, she doesn't care who gets in her way. Lucky, she was, she was driving to the hospital because Jocelyn was in pediatric ICU. Yeah, that, that makes even more sense. She was probably driving erratically, com completely distracted, only thinking about herself and her daughter. Are you seriously making excuses for her right now? No, wait a minute, she's not making excuses. She's just- Somebody just drove away and left Jake in the street. That woman doesn't know how to be anything but completely selfish to the core of her soul. And now my son is the latest to pay. This was an accident, okay? We don't even know if Carly was the driver. Mm -hmm. He's not angry with Carly. He's angry with God. You said there. Uh, so Carly's car is being impounded. Uh, look, given everything that's going on with her daughter, maybe I should handle the report. Yeah. If she turns out to be the driver, I'm pulling you off the case. Fair enough. Get, uh, something else? Well, we found the town car with the forged plates. It was on property leased by Theo Hoffman's holding company. We're running a vehicle ID now. I can see Theo Hoffman hitting a kid and driving on. This just came up from forensics. from the bumpers a match. This is definitely the car that hit Jake. We have our driver. I'm not angry at God. God didn't hit my child with a car. Carly did. So yeah, I'm, I'm angry at her. I'm angry that Jake is dead. And that Carly's just gonna rise above it and keep on going like she always does. She drives like she lives, completely oblivious to anyone who gets in her way. She's capable of a lot, it's true. Blackmail, larceny, maybe even murder under the right circumstances. But if she knew she had hit Jake, she would have stopped. You would have, Dad. I would have. Not Carly, not if it meant she had to stop for one second and think about someone else for once in her life. You think she's not ripped up about this? 
Wait, she, she already knows that she's on the suspect list? Oh, I thought she should know. So you, you told Carly before you told me. Lucky you weren't answering your phone. She had a right to know, cowboy. My son just died. My son. And you're sitting here, you're talking to me about family etiquette and who has the right to know what about a, an investigation? I'm his father! I have a right to know! You have no idea what this is like. You have no idea what this is like. Yes, do you? I do. I know what it's like to lose a son. I lost you. When we thought you were dead, we thought you were burned to death in that apartment above Jason's bike shop. I was angry, just like you are. The kind of anger that moves into your bones and it stays there and it doesn't go away and it makes so that you can't hear anybody. You can't see anything, you can't think. And I made a lot of mistakes. I said things I shouldn't have said. I blamed Jason and Sonny and thought that it was a mob hit that took you away from me. So yeah, I don't know the details, but I know the feeling and I know the anger. I'm not telling you not to be angry. You have a right to be. I'm telling you to slow down. First off, I wanted to say I'm sorry for your loss. Anything I can do, you name it. No, I appreciate that, but that's not why you called me down here. No. Uh, we found a driver. It's Carly, isn't it? No. Actually, uh, Jake's DNA was found on a different car. Let me see the file. Okay, before you look at it, you have to realize that that this was an accident. Give me the file, okay? Am I holding up there? Better than Lucky. Have you seen him? No, I've been at Elizabeth's. He's just really volatile right now. He's looking for someone to blame. Yeah, I know. Elizabeth isn't doing much better. She's got this, like, laser focus on Cam and Aiden right now. I thought that they were staying with you at Winnemere. Yeah, they, yeah, they were, but she asked me to bring them back. Well, it's good that she, she has you. I'm glad she does, because I can't even imagine what she's going through right now. Have you considered going to see her? Yeah, I've, but I was so hateful to her after the whole affair went public. I blew up at her again. Oh my God, oh my what? God. I blew up at her the night that Jake got hit. Oh my God, there's no way that she's even gonna wanna see me. I don't see, she could use all the support she could get right now if you would at least consider going over to see her and you know, that'll make you both feel better. I think you're too close to this. My son's DNA was on the car. I'm not, I'm not gonna hand this off to okay. someone else. Let me go with it. No. I have to face this alone. You heard. It's 
car right here. Well, don't feel too badly about coming down on Caroline. You needed somebody to be responsible. You still do. No, Dad. Not anymore. They found the driver? Good. What? It was me? I don't know what to tell you, Dad. I mean, Jake's DNA was, was all over the bumper of your car. I didn't see him. It was dark. That stretch of road is dark. There's no shoulder, there's no sidewalk. My music was blurring. I was rushing to get across town to get to you before your wedding. I drove fast. I always drive fast. I'm a good driver. I, n I never ran a light. God, no, I, I never felt anything hit, hit. Oh my God, I never saw him. I never saw him. I never saw him. Dad. Were you drinking? <laughs> 